Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is April 19th, and Barrow is coming to the Lavrunda Relay on Mercury. Now, it's been nearly a month since Dante dropped. We've seen much change in buffs and nerfs for both the new augments, himself, and Deep Archimedia balancing. I've your Deep in Elite Dimes been going, because I've had some good and bad luck myself. Anyways, remember that the dev stream is next Friday, the 26th, if you want to see more about Proto Mag and Jade. Let's see what Barrow has brought this time, if anything new. Where are you? Is he late? Why is he not here? Hello, what is going on? Okay, now I'm confused. 13 seconds. For some reason, this particular instance is delayed on the server by uh, 20 plus seconds. But anyways, he should be here any second now. Come on, Barrow. There we go. Prisma Koi Sentinel is our new slash old cosmetic. If you want the hot, cool new stuff, I guess this is what he has. This time, Mark of the Beast has returned. Now, this I would actually recommend picking up because it's really, really comfy, especially if you want to play a dual wheel build like Piranhas on Steel Path. Absolutely destroyed with this. It's used alongside some kind of Glaive. And Glaives these days work really, really well being Glaive Prime with, say, Melee Duplicate or Azorus with Melee Influence. And if you want to use your pistol to kill something off with raw damage like an Acolyte or whatnot, then yeah, that works as well since it's super, super duper easy to get six melee kills with your Glaive these days. Now, I wouldn't say this is a super important mod, but it's nice to pick up and pretty fun, so feel free to try it out. Prisma Naberis is back again for your shoulder pieces. This has showed up in the past. Uh, if you like the way it looks, then you can grab it here. Katir Dyak Sign and Sandana. Well, if you want a pyramid on your back, it is available once more in the shop. I think this comes back every couple of weeks. I don't think it's that Wraith. That rare. Viper Wraith. Unfortunately, this thing is MR fodder. Why? Impact procs. You might be thinking hemorrhage. I mean, puncture at least skips crit, slash is useful. Hemorrhage, though, how are you supposed to proc that with 9% status? 19% crit chance, which is, I mean, a little bit low side, average crit multiplier, but the big thing is, fire rate of 14, mag of 20. You're going to be reloading this thing basically every single second and spending just as much time reloading it as you are shooting it. MR fodder. EOS Prime Armor Set. If you'd like it from the shop, it is available, this time from Barrow. Colors pretty nicely, much better than this nasty looking piss color default that it uses. But yeah, I'm actually quite fond of the arm pieces and the chest. The legs can be a little bit hit and miss though. The Tosin skin, if you want a little bit of lore, a little bit of extra spice on your Gorgon, then yeah, you can get it here. However, um, I mean, it's it's just not really the style for me. Puspa Luxum ornament for your Orbiter or your Dojo if you'd like to grab it. Then we have Relixis Latron series. If you want a miniature Latron looking pistol, then here it is. Ornamental to the max, but looks really nice, high resolution textures, and really, really good fashion frame as well. Lunar Renewal Ox, if you want it for your chest, it would be down here. Actually, colors pretty nicely, but it's very, very hard to see because my chest piece is covering it. Vastalock is back again. I think this is probably like the eighth time it's showed back up. Still the best armor stripping gun blade in the entire game, especially handy for, say, like Demlists. If your setup needs an armor strip, but you don't want to bring an armor strip ability, then this can cut them out super quick. Plus, with melee duplicate, it now strips twice as fast. Class of 10-0 poster is also here too as a cosmetic freak orbiter or your dojo transmuter if you want to... If you want to look like Jabba the Hutt, then yeah, feel free to pick this up. Uh, otherwise, I find this looks kind of ridiculous, and I don't use it. Nadis Immortal Skin returns once again, and Fae Path Femra. For some reason, um, Sands of Anaros... Okay, no. I was typing stuff in. That's why. Let's get through the rest of this. We have Jolt. I don't remember if this one is actually the... Here, let me see. Let me see. Tetra's Doom, Operation. So uh, if you want this, this is going to be your only way to get it. Full Contact Trash, Skip. Mark of the Beast, we already ran over. Excalibur Proto Armor in Action Glyph. 
well. I mean, if you want this new glyph, I don't think this is new. I think this already existed. Prime Fever Strike. Don't miss this. Super important on a lot of builds these days. Especially if you're building Rock Rosa type setup, so you're running some funny electric infused lavos with this, which will allow you to get a Corrosive for full armor strip, but electric procs for melee influence too. Just, just grab it. Mantis Prisma, if you want it, is available once again. I don't find these are that special, but it is there. Glaring Emblem. For your shoulders, it looks like this if you'd like to pick it up. And then we have our... Nidus, Immortal Skin, went over that. Sands of Naros Blueprints. If you do still need a Naros' quest, which I mean, Prime exists now. And it's a lot easier to get, though this is a good way to farm Havant codes if you need them for your pet. Then you can pick it up here, and Fae Path Ephemera as always. And if you show up with a Naros Prime, then yes, the Lost Signal item will show up, which you can use as a escort mission for Barrow Katir with special rewards at the end. That is all for this week that Barrow has brought both console and PC. Appreciate you all watching and stick around. As always, a like and a comment goes a ton of a way to helping out the channel. Or better yet, if this is your first time stopping by, feel free to subscribe as well. I will definitely be around to co-stream the dev stream next week. And of course, we are still streaming as always because it is our birthday that has been continuing for last last couple of weeks. I don't know how uh, chat's been keeping me up awake for all of this time. But yeah, it's been an absolute blast. Feel free to stop by and say hi. Otherwise, that'll be it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.